Hi there. Welcome to the ride. Got milk? Of course not. You probably drank it all. Fear not. There's lots of dairy products where you're headed. How many contestants are there? Three of you, or as we say in binary, one, one. Are any of you first time right? Well, good. I hope you really enjoy the ride. To make your trip more pleasant, our host will give you extra instructions when you need them most. Have fun. Player one, go ahead and type in your name. Very good. Player two, may I have your name? Good, thank you. Now, please show us how... Wonderful, thanks. Player one, see your buzzer? It's the letter Q, as in quadrophenia. Player two, you'll be buzzing in on the letter B, as in Bowery Boys. And player three, you will touch the letter P to buzz in. That's P, as in pseudo. Have a great ride. I've really enjoyed our time together. Bye now. and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Lactose John's Ladies of the Evening. Come to eat, uh, meet our girls. And now here's the host delicious as his name, Cookie. Welcome to the game. I hope you had sugar in your cereal this morning because you're going to have to keep up with me. Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's the bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flackjack. <laughs> Well, I hope you took your lactate. We're taking a ride on the Milky Way. Player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Get your book. Here's your category. Dairy, dairy, I need your hugging. Get your buzzer finger ready. Here we go. If you wanted to use real butter to butter up your lover, which of the following should you say? Your eyes are blue as the land of lakes. You're the best ever. I promise. You're player one. Hit it. It's like real butter. So kiss and make up, but remember, keep those sticks wrapped. Okay, player one pick. I like to call this category Dairy Fresh Rock and Roll. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number. Let's find out. What dairy treat might you expect to be served in a white room with black curtains near the station? Ice milk, cream, yogurt, or custard? Okay, player two, who's getting here? Screw player one, give me you pick two. You sure about that? Well, it's too late now. White room is a hit by Eric Clapton's old band, Cream. I tell you, this guy Clapton is in a whole dairy aisle by himself. Hey, player two, right back at you with that screw action. <laughs> player one, buzz in and choose a value for us. Okay, give it up for... Are Cracker Jacks kosher? You know how sportscaster Harry Carey always shouted, HOLY COW! Well... If Harry Carey said holy cow because he believed cows to be sacred, what religion did he probably practice? Player one. Nice. Cows are considered sacred by Hindus, especially when they hit home runs. Holy cow! Holy cow! Player one, you have the honors. We're calling this one. No thanks, I'll just spread some vomit on a cracker. Here we go. 
Suppose a group of dairy farmers are having their company photo taken. Instead of, say cheese, what should the photographer say to get them to smile? Say pasteurized blocks of yeast. Say pressed and matured milk curd. Layer two is yours. That's not going to cut it. <laughs> layer, layer three, do it. But if you really want these farmers to smile, just put a teat in each of their hands. Hey, what are you doing? Get your hands off that holy teat! Holy cow! Player 3, what's this one worth to you? Buzz in and shoot. The category is... Now whip your cream and beat your eggs, too. Hey, you were a kid once, right? Well, you've surely heard the phrase, last one ends a rotten egg. Well, if the last major fighting nation to enter into World War II were a rotten egg, which country would smell like sulfur? Italy, France, Russia, or the United States? All yours, player. We stink. We didn't join the war until 1941. That's why we're known as the land of milk and nanny nanny boo boo. Player one, it's up to you, snag it. That ain't jump change. All right, let's see what we got. I get soggy in milk. Hey, you know how nations are always boycotting the Olympics for one reason or another? Well, say the Olympic Village serves cold cereal for breakfast. Because its athletes are more likely to be lactose intolerant, what country will most likely boycott the breakfast? Okay, player two. Or hop. The Swedes? Are you kidding? They like suckle straight from the cow's teat up there. <laughs> Play up to you. Player <laughs> one, you're screwed. What's the answer? Bill number one. That's not it. <laughs> Player, Player three, make it happen. No, the United States would probably be barred from breakfast. Something about the Americans smelling like rotten eggs and ruining everyone's appetites. <laughs> oh, good God. Asians are more likely than any other ethnic group to be lactose intolerant. But given the choice between soy milk and sushi on my Wheaties, I'll take the fish. Okay, player two, what's this one gonna be worth? It's roadkill time. Okay, let me explain how this game works. You're gonna see different pairs that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. Buzz in if you think an item correctly joins the pair. There's a thousand bucks in it for you if you're right, but do choose wisely. You're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. And we're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Uh, let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Is that clear? Good. Let's hit it. Normal dance party. And zany redhead Lucille. What unites these two? Uh -huh. Dealt and applause. Female elephant and lick in your hair. Score. Gravy holder and show blank. <laughs> and series of musical notes. Hockey trick and symbol high blank. Soup and dump blank. Uh -oh. All right, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? 
Are they all items found in a warehouse? Things that contain milk? Items in my front pocket? Things you can Things on what you melt cheese? Cures for lactose intolerance? Things that contain milk? Items found in a warehouse? Things you Hopped up on Twinkies, okay? You'll thank me later. So, player one's in the lead. Alright, let's see how long this lasts. Player three, poke your buzzer and give us a value. Coming up. Little Jack Horner got a better meal. Hey, remember that old nursery rhyme went something like this? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. So tell me, what the hell is whey? The liquid part of coagulated milk, mold scraped off an aged cheese. Oh. Up to you, player. Way to go. Next, we'll figure out what the hell her tough it is. Whey is the watery part that separates from the solid milk curds when making cheese. I like mine in a rocks glass with vodka. Player three, it's all on your shoulders. Your category is... Mount Olympus could have used a Starbucks. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. So, tell me, which of these is not a half and half? Take a shot, player. I think I'll be taking my coffee black from now on. A Cyclops is just a big old guy with one eye in the middle of his forehead. Player 2, pick us a question value. Nice choice, Player 2. Okay, Player 1, Player 3, get the hell out of here. Player 2, it's time for Dis or Dat. And this Dis or Dat question's category is... With a little effort, you can show up at the same time. Okay, listen up, because I'm going to read off seven words. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a word that begins with chicken or a word that begins with egg. As each one comes up, if the chicken comes first, press 1. If the egg comes first, press 2. If you're kind of clueless, hit 4. For each right answer, you get some cash. And you're going to lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And keep an eye on the wire. When it fills up, you're done. And here we go. Wire, chicken or egg? Bad! Peter! Liver! Perfect zero! Man, were you trying to do that or what? Player three is in front. Well, let's see if you can keep it up. Player one, please buzz in and let us know how much this one's gonna be worth. Someone's not. You can do a lot worse than that. Let's check out your category. Crying over spilled milk. Hey, remember that 70s court case in San Francisco where the murderer got a reduced sentence for saying he was hopped up on junk food when he did the crime? Well, considering the famous defense used in the case, who would have been the most appropriate defense lawyer for the murderer of politician Harvey Milk? Twinkie the Kid, Susie K All yours, player one. Twinkie the Kid? Well, yeah, I guess it was known as the Twinkie defense. Maybe he can lasso as a judge who knows a just ruling from his, uh, snowballs. Player one, hit your buzzer and select... Okay, give it up for... This used to be Sean Penn's playground. You ready? Let's go. Say Madonna used a hand pump to get her breast milk flowing before feeding her baby. Which of her songs would best describe this process? Open your heart, express yourself, justify my love, or into the groove. Alright, let's take a look at the right answer.
Mothers can express breast milk by using a hand pump. But how she got milk out of them cone-shaped boobs, I'll never know. Well, it's highly unlikely I will. All right, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Old McDonald had a farm. And remember, the match has to fit the clue. Alright, good luck. Player two, could you check to see if player three's dead? Don't you dare refuse me some 